welcome, 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 especially the folks from the Gordon School. So I'm David Allen, and this is my studio. I'm a full-time practicing artist, and I'm going to be artist in resident at Gordon School this year. Today I'm going to share with you a little bit of my art practice. I'm primarily a ceramics person, formerly trained in ceramics and such, and I went to RISD, but I also do a lot of printmaking, and I do a goofy performance piece called Uncle Thirsty, which I might share with you today, too, of Uncle Thirsty's around the neighborhood. So, uh, like I said, today is just going to be a little overview of my studio and the various tools that I use in my practice. Hey, I wanted to take just a quick second to tell you about some of the things that I've made or some of the stuff that's in my studio right now. Um, I've got a lot of cups here, so I make a lot of things that you can actually use, and they're called utilitarian. So these are high-fired objects that you can actually drink out of, cups, and eat off of, plates. And you can actually use these things, put them in your dishwasher, and they're all made right here in my studio. So it's really important to me that a lot of the things that I do make, you can use. I really like that aspect of ceramics. So these are cups, and I make lots of cups. So many cups. Uh, these are some of the plates that I make right here with lots of image transfers, lots of printing. So like I said, I'm as much a printmaker as I am a ceramics person. And these are the smaller things that I make. And then I also make some larger things. Oh that are a little bit bigger, a little bit fancier, and uh, this is our studio right here, actually. This is Nicholson File. Actually, we're like right in here somewhere, but these have a lot more detail and a lot more formal printing side. So these are just an example of some of the things that I make, and if you're lucky enough to make it to the RISD Museum, I also have some things in the permanent collection at the RISD Museum, too. So I do a wide range of work, uh, mostly functional, but also some fine art things. So hello, as I mentioned, I'm a printmaker and a ceramics person, and primarily I do silkscreen printing. So this is an empty silkscreen, and then I use a photo emulsion process and a dark room to put images onto my silkscreen, and then I put ink on my silkscreen and print the image onto a piece of paper, a piece of ceramics, or whatever I'm printing on. So that is how you pull a print onto a silkscreen. And I don't have to whisper also, I don't know how I was whispering. But anyway, so this is a room that is light tight. It has this, but there's no UV in this light right here. But I use a dark room to do all of my processing for my silk screens. And that's how I actually burn with these UV lights right here. Wait for it. Those UV lights, you can see that the spectrum is really crazy. It makes everything glow, or makes a lot of stuff glow, or look really cool. My teeth look cool, possibly, I don't know. Um, but that UV light that's in these lights actually sets up or cures the emulsion that I use and that's how I get the images onto my screens. So there are three main components to ceramics. The clay, which that's this stuff right here, which everyone's probably used at this point. It's just basically refined earth and it's everywhere. It's all around us. Um, I use porcelain, which is just a little bit whiter, has a little bit finer particles. So clay, and then I use, these are all of my glazes. So clay, glaze, and my kiln is over there. So clay, glaze, and heat is what takes this lifeless lump of mud and turns it into a uh, utilitarian object that you can use and drink out of. And it also takes my hands to manipulate that clay to make the objects. So here, check this out. This is the last component of my ceramic work that makes the whole thing work. It's the kiln, and it's got a computer on it. Pretty cool. It helps me fire things to exactly the right temperature inside here. And it goes to about 2400 degrees, which is really hot. All right, all right, all right. So like I said, I do a DJ thing, and I call myself Uncle Thirsty. This is my thirsty card. I mix music. I play a lot of vinyl records. I usually just try to have a good time doing whatever I'm doing, uh, mixing things, making goofy sounds. <laughs> a regular old goofball, but that's part of the whole shtick, is I really enjoy the whole process of mixing music, and I really enjoy DJing too, and I have a lot of the tools. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this. Hold on. Thanks everyone. It's been a pleasure to show you my studio and share my practice with you. Once again, my name is David Allen, I'm a ceramic artist and printmaker, and then I also do a goofy thing with Uncle Thirsty. 
Thanks very much to the Gordon School for letting me share my practice with you. Why do I have this banana? That seems weird. I'm gonna have a snack.